Hi boys and girls, I'm Mrs. Smith and it's so great to see you again. We've been practicing listening and saying all the sounds in words. I'm so excited to share this story with you. It's one of my favorite stories. The name of the story is A Cow on the Couch. Oh, wait a minute. I just saw Ow, Ow, Ow. Ow, Ow, Ow. Oh, we are going to see some Ow, Ow, Ow words in this story. A cow on the couch. Oh, I see Ow, Ow, Ow. It's in that word couch. What a funny title. What a funny name of the story. A cow on the couch? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What? This story was written by Glenn A. Penrod. He is the author of the book. He's the one who thought about the story and then wrote it for us. Now, before we start, we think. What are those question words? Who are the characters? I can tell. There's a little boy and a little girl and a man. And now I think, where? Where did it happen? Where did the story happen? I can't tell right now. We're gonna have to read and find out. Hmm, is there a problem? I see the little girl. She's doing this. I can tell there must be a problem. Let's read and find out what happens in this story. The name of the story is A Cow on the Couch, written by Glenn A. Penrod. Here we go. Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown. Oh, there's that ow, ow, ow. Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown. What? Hmm. <gasps> There's a cow on the couch. Would that be a problem if there was a cow on the couch? I think so. Another question word. Where? He says, where, where is that cow on the couch? In the house, there's a cow on the couch in the house. Oh, I love these ow, ow, ow words. In the house, there's a cow on the couch in the house. Oh my, that would be a problem. When? Now, there's a cow on the couch in the house right now. That's a problem. How? The gate was down. So there's a cow on the couch in the house right now. Who? Who would leave the gate down? Mrs. Brown left the gate down. So there's a cow 
on the couch in the house right now. Oh. Why? There's another one of our question words. Why would she leave the gate down? She went to town. Mrs. Brown left the gate down and went to town. So there's a cow on the couch in the house right now. Oh no, could that really be? Okay, okay, let's check it out. Oh, another ow, ow word. I wonder if he believes them. Wow! Another owl word. Wow! <laughs> no way! Is there a cow on the couch? Sipping some chocolate milk, watching TV, wearing sunglasses and a hat. Is that the silliest cow on the couch? There's a mouse. What? A mouse too? chocolate milk jumped into Mr. Brown's arms. Oh my goodness, she must be scared of that mouse. Howie, I'm home. Is that Mrs. Brown? And now we know Mr. Brown's name is How. There's that owl, Howie. Howie, I'm home. Where had she been? She had been to town. She got some groceries. Mrs. Brown, Mrs. Brown. What? There's a mouse in the house. Oh. What? Oh my goodness, did she drop all those groceries? Oh my goodness. What? Where? When? Why? How? She asked all those question words, dropped all of her groceries. <laughs> Was she scared of the mouse too? Mr. Brown says, ouch. They must be heavy. Oh my goodness. They both jumped into his arms because they were scared of the decided, hmm, I'll just sit on the couch and watch TV with a cute hat and sunglasses and drink my, my chocolate milk. Oh my goodness, is that so silly.
Boys and girls, I love reading this story with you and looking at all the question words and seeing all those words with ow, 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 ow. What a great story. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.